Welcome to the video from the digitallifestyle.com. Just a quick update video really on this Lynx 7 tablet. We've had a, quite a few people ask me whether it will run Windows 10 and um, I'm pleased to say it does run Windows 10. So this has been a very popular video on our YouTube channel showing the original Lynx 7 running Windows 8.1 and um, this is running Windows 10. So I just thought I'd show it off and uh, answer a couple of questions on it. So the first thing to say is I did an upgrade of this by downloading the ISO file from Windows Insiders uh, the Microsoft site, put the 32-bit ISO on here and then you just mount it by double clicking on it and then run the setup exe and that installs Windows 10. So it took about half an hour or so and let it finish off. Um, initially it didn't have the graphics driver but it did that through Windows Update and then a reboot, it downloaded some store apps and here it is. So this is the upgraded machine and Pleased to say it works really well. Now one of the things that bugs me about this tablet initially was the Windows keys up here, which I always find a real pain, I want it to be here. And now of course you, with Windows 10 you've got the Windows key there. So actually it's improved the usability of that. Uh, as you can see it's nice and, uh, nice and fast and smooth and works really well just as you'd expect. This has got um, one gig of RAM, so it's uh, performing rather well. And there's plenty of disk space left as well. I'll just uh, have a look at that. So that's the disk space is eight gig left out of, the tw out of uh, 32, but it's still got the Windows the old folder, which you can't see because this is showing hidden folders. But uh, you could remove that by doing a disk cleanup and get rid of the old Windows 8 one partition. Um, so all the apps are in here that work in, you know, the Spartan browser, um, the app stores working in there, music app all the things you'd expect and my initial impressions are that it's actually faster than uh, when it was running on Windows 8.1. In terms of battery life it seems pretty much the same um, I haven't really noticed any changes in battery life just the main thing really is uh, I really like much better is the Windows key on here and the whole tablet UI I mean you might not agree that uh, Windows 10 is a better tablet UI but I think for this device actually it does work better you can still easily switch between apps and using the um, task switcher you've got the music and video apps and weather um, you know so I've got app store where I've just installed the office apps and of course you can go straight back to the home all the time as well so I think it, it works really well I didn't have to download any special drivers or anything like that everything went through automatically like I said I did do an in-place upgrade but very simple to do and I think this is going to work uh, pretty well when we get the final version of Windows uh, 10 on July 29th and um, I'll put the final version on this on here. So a lot of people have asked me how it runs with games everything else, well it all runs the same so um, it's not a powerhouse gaming machine but it will run Minecraft and it will um, run some of the Windows Store games. I've got um, Sonos installed on, an Arduino coder and some Minecraft so really you can run whatever you want on it. I've just taken it out of tablet mode now you see what it looks like in desktop mode you see all the sensors are working quite well so all in all very impressed with this Lynx 7 running Windows 10 perfectly well um, this is with build 10130 which is the current build at the time I recorded this video I should get the final build in a couple of weeks and I'll try it then. So if you've got any questions, you can find them to me at ianatlifestyle.com or our YouTube channel at ISDixon on Twitter. Thanks for watching.